what is going on everyone um so i had some questions in my last video and i filmed footage for it but i haven't actually done anything with it like i haven't made anything out of it i guess it's just sitting there because it's part of like a bunch of like random stuff that i filmed and i'm like oh not motivated to edit it, edit it i guess but people asked about the Jonathan Green strip, I guess. So I figured I'd provide an update on what it looks like in this fashion versus filming an entire video on it. Well, this is kind of the same thing, right? Anyway, there it is. Do a close up here in a second. But um, I had germination. Uh, I put it on Instagram as soon as I saw it, but it was like probably like 10 days I started seeing germination, or it probably germinated in 10, around 10 days, but I didn't notice it till like day 11, day 13 or something. Um, but um, yeah, just wanted to give a little update on it, show you how it's turning out. Um, I also pulled up, I know it's blasphemy, I'm guessing this is, Fes or not fescue, I'm guessing this is um, bluegrass. I honestly have no idea, but oh no, the roots not too bad. Pretty decent little roots. Um, maybe it's not. Well, I don't know because it looks like a runner right there, not a root or a stolen rhizome, whatever. Not rhizome, stolen. Is it stolen or is it a rhizome when it's under the surface? What's up, Nate? So, this might be bluegrass. I honestly don't know. I don't have bluegrass. What's up, Shane? <clears throat> but, overall, it's turning out pretty good. What's up, Don? Um, but, yeah. I'm, well, I'm trying to show it and it's not looking. So, let me do a close-up here of it. That's my face. All right, here we go. So this is a piece of sod that I talked about that I pulled when I dug out the flower bed over there. Um, it obviously was missing stuff, but I have germination there too. So that's good. So this is the repair kit itself. That's not weed Bermuda. That's not Bermuda. Not in this area yet. Um, it could be eventually, but I don't think it's Bermuda yet. But anyway, um... So this is the actual repair kit. Hi, Grace. Um, here's like that mulch that's supposed to break down eventually. Um, and then like these little pieces here are some sort of um, fertilizer or something. Anyway, it's turned out pretty darn good. The lawn repair kit I like actually a whole lot more than the seed roll, if I'm honest. I don't like the seed roll very much. And here's another piece of sod with my best friend, Clover. Stupid Clover. Um, but no. The repair kit actually is turning out very well. I'm actually really pleased about it. But here's the seed roll. We had almost like an inch and a half of rain over the last couple days. Oh, look at this. Coming through. Dang it. Fail. Um, along the edges, like I, when I pulled the sod up I, or the dirt or whatever, I couldn't get it as well as I wanted. So along the edges and stuff, there'll still be weeds. Um, I'll show the disease X here in a second, but the seed roll has germination. The problem with the seed roll is, so we had a birthday party for our kids, for my son a couple weekends ago. And so we had a trailer with an inflatable on it. And that inflatable is like two huge pieces, 20 some odd feet long. And we had to go to the gate. So, and it even went on this part of the repair kit as well. We had to back the trailer and the truck onto the lawn to get it. Um, and even right after I put the seed roll down, uh, when I had the shed installed, those people, those guys walked on it. Kind of see a spot right there where I couldn't fix it. Um, so it kind of ruined it. Um, but the seed roll still has germination, even the areas that got run over. Well, thanks, bud. Um, and it's really hard to see with the seed roll, but 
um, much small, like the germination isn't as tall, the grass isn't as tall on the seed roll as it is on the repair kit. It's actually a different color, it's not as strong. That could be because it got run over with a, with a truck. But even over here where it didn't get run over, it's not that great either. So I don't know. But I definitely do prefer the repair kit over the seed roll. Because if you do have situations where something happens here, I don't know what that was, then you're not going to get any grass seed because it got pushed around or whatever. So, like that spot there, that spot there. But overall, the Jonathan Green is turning out really well. I think a big thing that helped is the soil that I used. So I, if you watch that video, it was sand, um, compost, topsoil, and then Tennessee red clay, just so it has some natural red clay in it. And that was probably like two plus inches thick. And so I think that will help with that area because the rest of them, I mean, I can show you another area over there where I didn't do anything. I mean, it's just red clay and that thing's gonna cook and it's gonna get hard and it's gonna harden. Where that area won't get as um, compacted because of the sand and all that kind of stuff. Um, so the, here's the ZZX treatment, the rust. Not focusing, but um, it started to do okay. It's definitely thinning out and dying off here. But hopefully that treatment, that was only a couple days ago. I filmed that on... Sunday? Monday? I don't remember when I filmed it, so it's only been a couple days, but I mean, it's contained to that area over there. And I guess last thing Grace asked about was the... Uh, oh, you asked about the disease access, right. But let me show you. So this area over here is kind of what the area looked like because that's the repair kit and stuff over there. This is what it used to kind of look like. So I dug up some of it for this flower bed thing here. And these are actually doing really well. You we got fescue. Um, I don't know what those are called, but they've everything's grown really well. Double play doozy. This is why I like the double play doozy when it, I guess these little seeds on it. It's a little flowering. It's it really bright. But everything's doing really well. I did spray tenacity over here. You can tell by that. But this is what it looks like. It's a bunch of junk, rocks, um, aerate. I'm due for that treatment, so it's worth a while, or it's worth a try. So at some point, probably in the fall, I'm gonna kind of do what I did over there, over here, change the soil, this the over the sand, topsoil, compost, and red clay. And then when I do my overseed, just sort of do a full seed over there. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, the uh, Jonathan Green, you know, it's doing fairly well here. We've been cooler. We had a couple days in the 80s last week. This week, we're mostly in the upper 60s. And then rain last night, today, and tomorrow. So it's getting plenty of rain. But overall, I mean, it's blending in well with that area there. With the sod blending in okay over there. Here's the lawn. It needs mowed. Need to pull some of these weeds and the stupid clover. No matter how much I put on it, it wants to do this. It's going to be a battle for sure. But anyway, I'll trade you 89 today. Looking good. I don't know if I want 89 just yet. I, I like spring. I mean, we all do. But Tennessee has a habit of, like, you'll get a week or two of, like, spring. Like, a good spring, you know, in the low, mid-70s and sunny. And then you'll get, go right into summer. And we are projected for, according to Weather Channel, which I don't really ever trust Weather Channel. But, um, according to Weather Channel, we're supposed to be above average uh, in the month of May for temperatures. So we'll see what happens. But... 68 is looking good. A lot of people commented on the flower bed. It's definitely turning out really well. The pansies, once it starts to get hot, I'm going to pull the pansies out and put something else there. But those snapdragons, 
I love the Snapdragons. They really turned out really, really well. But anyway, it's been 10 minutes. Don't want to take too much any more time. Um, I will be going live. I'm not going to make a promise as to when, but I will be going to live, going live again soon with a giveaway. Um, because I last year I did the um, Lansy compost spreader, and then I am just bad at it, and I forgot about it. And so cleaning out the garage and stuff, the box with the, with the Lansy compost spreader was in there. So I'm going to finally do that winter. And then I got, I'm not wearing it, but I got several new hats in uh, with the new design. So I'm going to give away those hats too. So that'll probably be in the next couple weeks before I go on vacation at the end or the beginning of next month. So anyway, that's it. Oh, thank you all that hopped on real quick. Impromptu. <gasps> Kianesto. I, I don't think that's fescue. What are you? That's melting out. Yeah, I think that's melting out. Because I have the sprinklers there, just finding stuff. And those sprinklers help keep this area wet. And so the in front of it gets way more water. And as I said in the video, Actually, I think I maybe edited it out. In the video, you know, you can water, you can water too much. Um, but anyway, that's it. I'll see you all later. Next video. I'll release something here soon next week. Thanks, Brandon. Um, I'm happy with it. From where it was, the color's pretty good. Um, the areas that have, like, are lighter colored, kind of like here, are spots where admire all those i love manually moving sprinklers around i find it like fun first thing in the morning you know it's quiet moving sprinklers around and i'll just stand outside for a few minutes and listen to them go that's why i like impact i'm not using them obviously but i do like impact sprinklers because that sound that is nostalgic for me but anyway the lighter colored areas are areas that are like more compacted than everywhere else so that's gonna be areas i have to work on but yeah, well, it's coming along much better than it was um, when I got it. So, and it's going to seed. So there's lots of little seed heads popping up. But anyway, now that's it. I will see you all uh, next video. Have a fantastic rest of your week and God bless. I can't turn it off. There we go. Got it now.